your first Alert 5 weather. There is some monsoonal moisture here in southern Colorado, but not much. A couple of these hot spots here in the southern San Grays out towards the San Luis Valley at this hour. Fort Garland, you guys have a pretty good thunder shower over top of you. And then also towards the wet mountains, at least the southern end of the wet mountains with San Isabel, Colorado City. You guys are seeing some rain showers just to the south and west of you. Now, Pueblo, you guys had a couple of light rain showers move through from a quick band that actually started in Cripple Creek, but those have really since dispersed because, again, we're just so dry here at the surface. But I I'm keeping my eyes on what's going on north of us. Monument is at the bottom of your screen here as we trickle up I-25 towards the Denver area. We have an outflow boundary and we actually have some rain showers all the way up towards Castle Rock and those are moving south towards us here in Colorado Springs. I don't think they'll quite make it, but the energy just might. It might spark a few light showers here over the next few hours. Right now we're 88 degrees here in the Springs, north wind at 10, but again, that humidity level, 23%. It is very dry out there. 35% humidity down in Pueblo with the current temperature of 87 degrees and it looks like a little bit more sunshine. Elsewhere around the region at this time, high 90s out there in the eastern plains with 80s along the I-25 corridor and 90 for Trinidad, 78 for West Cliff, 83 for Canyon City and 79 for Salida at this hour. So here we have a more of a northwesterly flow today and that's because the area of high pressure has retrograded a little bit more towards us here in Colorado. So what that means here is the flow around this area of high pressure. What that's doing is it's really starting to pull some of this moisture back more from the west and also from the north. But you notice here this little black streak. This is actually drier air that's what worked its way into Colorado. And if you follow that, what that means for us is that's another reason why we don't have a widespread area of showers and thunderstorms because we're just starting to lack the moisture. We've had a bunch of it the last couple of days, but today and tomorrow I think will be two of the drier days before we start to see more of that monsoon soon will flow. So as we head into the overnight hours, we're going to keep our eyes on those showers moving through. Here comes that next band of energy moving down around 9 o'clock from the Denver area. We're going to keep our eyes on the potential for maybe a few light rain showers here developing even by 10, 11 o'clock in Colorado Springs all the way back towards Canyon City. Tomorrow we'll be waking up to mostly clear skies, but then another round of showers and thunderstorms developing in the mountains. Very isolated popcorn in nature, and I don't think they're going to have a lot of energy to move out here onto the eastern plains but if they do so, it's again going to be very sporadic in nature. So the seven day forecast look like this. Colorado Springs for tomorrow, 90 degrees, 92 by the time we head towards Wednesday. And again, it's going to be isolated in nature for tomorrow afternoon. A better chance will move into the picture on Wednesday, and that's because that area of high pressure will start to break down, move out of the picture, move more towards the east. That will allow for more moisture to return as well as more energy. So we're looking for Wednesday night and especially on Thursday. That's the one that we're keeping our eyes on right now for the greater chances for some of those showers and storms, whether it be Pueblo, Colorado Springs, Canyon City, or even up towards the higher elevations. But it's the mountains that are going to continue to see the chances for each of the next seven days with the energy and the daytime convective heating. That's where we're going to see the, the greatest amount of moisture, keeping that chance in there. But it's not going to be until late next weekend, early next week, where we start to dry things out and we might start to turn off the monsoonal flow. Rob?